Bemidbar, Numbers 9. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe in the wilderness of Sinai in the first month of the second year after they were come out of the land of Mitzrayim, saying, Let the children of Yasharael also keep at the Pikach at his appointed time. In the fourteenth day of this month, at evening, ye shall keep it in his appointed time, according to all the rites of it, and according to all the ceremonies thereof, shall ye keep it. And Moshe spoke unto the children of Yasharael that they should keep the Pikach. And they kept at the Pikach on the fourteenth day of the first month at evening in the wilderness of Sinai, according to all that Yahuwah commanded at Moshe, so did the children of Yashadael. And there were certain men who were defiled by the dead body of a man, that they could not keep the Pikach on that day. And they came before Moshe and before Ahran on that day. And those men said unto him, We are defiled by the dead body of a man. Wherefore are we kept back, that we may not offer at an offering of Yahuwah in his appointed season among the children of Yashadael? And Moshe said unto them, Stand still and I will hear what Yahuwah will command concerning you. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yashara'el, saying, If any man of you or of your posterity shall be unclean by reason of a dead body, or by in a journey afar off, Yet he shall keep the peacock unto Yahuwah. The fourteenth day of the second month at evening they shall keep it, and eat it with matzah and bitter herbs. Bitter herbs. They shall leave none of it unto the morning, nor break any bone of it according to all the ordinances of the Pikach, they shall keep it. But the man that is clean and is not in a journey, and forbears to keep the Pikach, even the same soul shall be cut off from among his people, because he is brought, rather, because he brought not the offering of Yahuwah in his appointed season, that man shall bear his sin. And if a stranger shall sojourn among you, and will keep the Pikach unto Yahuwah, according to the ordinance of the Pikach, and according to the manner thereof, so shall he do. Ye shall have one ordinance, both for the stranger and for him that was born in the land. And on the day that at the tabernacle was reared up, the cloud covered at the tabernacle, namely the tent of the testimony. And at evening there was upon the tabernacle, as it were, the appearance of fire until the morning. So it was always, the cloud covered it by day, and the appearance of fire by night. And when the cloud was taken up from the tabernacle, then after that the children of Yashara'el journeyed. And in the place where the cloud abode, there the children of Yashara'el pitched their tents. At the commandment of Yahuwah, the children of Yashara'el journeyed, and at the commandment of Yahuwah they pitched. 
As long as the cloud abode upon the tabernacle, they rested in their tents. And when the cloud tarried long upon the tabernacle many days, then the children of Yashadael did guard at the watch of Yahuwah, and journeyed not. And so it was, when the cloud was a few days upon the tabernacle, According to the commandment of Yahuwah, they abode in their tents, and according to the commandment of Yahuwah, they journeyed. And so it was, when the cloud abode from evening unto the morning, and that the cloud was taken up in the morning, then they journeyed. Whether it was by day or by night that the cloud was taken up, they journeyed. Or whether it were two days, or a month, or a year, that the cloud tarried upon the tabernacle, remaining thereon, the children of Yashadael abode in their tents, and journeyed not. But when it was taken up, they journeyed. And the commandment of Yahuwah, rather, at the commandment of Yahuwah, they rested in their tents. And at the commandment of Yahuwah, they journeyed. They guarded at the watch of Yahuwah, at the commandment of Yahuwah, by the hand of Moshe.